Spring cleaning, dun dun dun. Do you love this time of year or do you hate this time of year? Let us know in the comments. Anna Koyman here from Your Day with Anna Koyman and we are at the one and only Blackhawk Hardware to get some top tips to get our house in ship shape for spring. And we've got Susan with us. How are you? Good, how are you? Fantastic, so we could take things room by room but we could also take things surface by surface. So let's start with those floors. What do we need? For your floors, you just need a basic floor cleaner. Um, okay. I think fancy, the old standby that I have used for years is the Murphy's Oil Soap, and that is something your mom might have used. Okay, now do you have to put it in a bucket with, and add water, or how does it work? This one is the concentrated variety, and you're okay. going to put this in a bucket to okay. make sure. Okay, you take a look at that. Um, but yes, that's going to be something you'll, okay. you'll dilute. Yes. This is my favorite one of the two because it's a squirt and mop variety, which basically means you can just squirt that on any of your hardwood floors uh -huh. um, and you will just use a mop. But there's no bucket. There oh, is, this is my kind of product right there, here. There is some, obviously there's some rinsing involved, but there's no bucket that's great for yes. quick cleanups. Okay, so basically you would just vacuum the floor first or sweep the floor first to get off all the crumbs and the bits and pieces. And then that, and now is this going to be disinfecting as well? No, ma'am. It, it is not a disinfectant. Okay. Just a good, it is good just cleaner. A good, yeah, a good hard cleaner. Okay. So I just love the name of this one, Fabulous. So I've never heard of this. What's this one for? That is an all purpose cleaner that's actually been around for quite some time. I like to use it at home. Uh -huh. it, it's a great just end of the day, wipe down your countertops kind of thing. Um, it's a, also a good floor cleaner for bathrooms like vinyl. Um, not necessarily okay. marble or stone floors, but yeah. I so fabulous. So yes, that's a yes, good one. All right, now we've all heard of Clorox and Lysol, and these, of course, are the disinfectant sprays. Mm -hmm. How often do we need to be doing those, and what do we need to know for spring cleaning? Like okay. that, I would suggest, as far as your disinfecting goes, I would suggest I disinfect about once or twice a week, like I do an entire like deep clean um, disinfecting. And I use the Clorox right here, actually. And uh, along with Lysol around the house, that's pretty much what I do. Yep. I don't do a whole lot more than that. Um, you know, and for, the, for the grit and the grime, these are fantastic yes, as well. Um, yes, will these scratch though? Will these scratch the surface or it's... It's, are they These safe? are your heavy duties. Now you can okay. use them. I I use them on everything, but if you are a little fearful about using something like yes. that, you can use our natural ones okay. that are a little bit less um, abrasive. They're not quite as abrasive, yes. but they still get the job done. Absolutely. I do love your all natural products and we'll get to more of those in a moment. Um, but first, let's talk about glass cleaner. So this one actually, is a foam, which I've never used. I always just use the old fashioned window. Okay. Why is this one good? Why did you pull this one? Well, I, uh, as you mentioned, it is a foam. And what I love about it is if you spray, say a mirror or window car, window, it keeps its foam okay. rather than dripping oh, okay. the way that a sure. typical glass cleaner might. Um, and the foam just kind of helps you keep the cleaner on there yeah. longer so that you have the time to go there with your, you know, your paper towel, your right. microfiber, and it gives you that time to... Okay, to that's a that. great little tip. I've never even thought about trying mm -hmm. to find a foam for that. I typically will walk around my house and do this window and that window and the mirror, and then I'm like, you know, trying to run yeah. and get it all yeah. done really quickly yep. as before it all drips down. Yes. So that's a great yes. tip. Um, now, I love the idea of going all natural where we can, staying away from the fumes, especially mm -hmm. during spring cleaning where you're doing that deep clean mm -hmm. and you're probably spending hours upon hours, mm -hmm. maybe even a whole weekend. Yep. Um, but I have to say, sometimes when I use all natural products, I feel like I use half the bottle in one use because these are kind of superior or they don't work as well. So tell us about this product line, why you like it so much and some tips on how we can actually use it to make the most of them. This is an all natural product line. What I like about it is, especially for your dish soap, it cuts through any grease. I've never really been a natural product kind of girl. Uh -huh. um, well, as you can see. Um, so, <laughs> well, Koala Eco, by the way. Yes, so I have been using this now for about a month and I really, really enjoy it. The scents are phenomenal. Um, the 
kitchen cleaner cuts through anything you need it to at the end of the day. Okay. Um, I've also got the bathroom cleaner and it does a phenomenal job of getting up soap scum, believe it or not. Really? Okay. And just cleaning the basics. Um, I did not think I would like a natural care product, but I'm loving this one. Okay, and we've got some other yeah. even natural products here as well. Some of these you don't even need. It says just add water. What does this mean? I have to say I'm skeptical when something says just add water. What I can wash my dishes with this with just water? Yes, ma'am, you sure can. Um, e Cough is a great what? company, and what they do is they most all of their products are they're chemical free, and you can just use water. Okay. Their dusting cloth is phenomenal. Um, I really love their wash and wipe like kind of stuff. Um, and they're just, it's just add water and you would be amazed at how clean it is. Okay. Gets. Again, there's no disinfecting, but the cleaning strength right. is definitely it's there. It's really there. Okay. And what tips do you have as far as using all natural products and making the most of them? Because as I said, sometimes I feel like I have to use so much of them to get the job done. What I would say is you need to make sure that you're using the right implements to clean with uh, microfiber uh, you can I mean you can use paper towels as well but my go-to is a microfiber cloth I also um, would recommend for your natural cleaning products that you kind of sort of read the directions yes. I don't normally read directions but I think it's important because you will get the most out of a natural cleaning product if you've read the directions. Because it could be you are using too much or it could be you're using too little. Okay. I, you know, I know how to spot something with these, but in learning with these, I, I've figured out, you know, X amount of squirts can do this. Right. Maybe um, you just have to use a little bit more elbow grease, you hey? Do. <laughs> you do. You do. Yes. And in a lot of cases, people will weigh the pros and cons and they'll think that it's, it's really worth it. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, and the great thing about a natural product is you're not going to have those fumes. Not when you're spring cleaning right. and when you have right. things. It, it, it's very aching. Yeah, this one says it's powered by the eucalyptus since it's the Koala Eco. Well, Susan, thank you so much for your You're time welcome. today. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate all the help here at Black Hawk Hardware. If you enjoyed this video about spring cleaning, please like, comment, share, save, subscribe, do all the things, hit that notification bell so you find out when we release our next video. See you next time.